Hey guys, it's Flare Blitz Banana here, and I am proud to announce that the next series on this channel will be a randomized Pokemon Black RNG lock. What's an RNG lock, you ask? Well, an RNG lock is a spin on the traditional Nuzlocke challenge that I created. It follows two of the basic rules of the traditional Nuzlocke challenge. One, I'm required to nickname every Pokemon that I capture. Two, if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be boxed for good. So why the name RNG Lock? This is because I'll be using a random number generator in order to determine certain things that I need to do for the challenge. And more cool names like Luck Lock and Chance Lock are taken. This is why one of the main rules of the Nuzlocke challenge has been changed. Every time I attempt to get an encounter, I will generate either a 1 or a 2. If it's a 1, I can attempt to capture a Pokemon. But if it's a 2, I cannot attempt to capture a new Pokemon on that route. Of course, if I mess up the capture, then I can't catch that Pokemon and I can't re-encounter. And I will also be doing uh, the dupes and species clause as well, which makes it so that I can re-encounter a Pokemon that's in the same evolutionary line that I currently have if I wish. But here's where things start to get a little more complicated. If I catch a Pokemon on that route, I can attempt to catch another one. Of course, I will still have to use the random number generator again. However, the dupes and species clause is required in this case. If I encounter something that I already have, I cannot catch it. And then I will have to use the random number generator again to see if I can re-encounter for my second encounter. But if I successfully catch my second encounter, then I can try again for a third, and the same rules for the second encounter apply to the third encounter. And if I succeed in the third encounter, then I can get a fourth one, and this will continue on until I either get a two on the random number generator, or I mess up the capture of a Pokemon. This might sound a bit complicated right now, but once the lock gets started, things will start to make a lot more sense. But wait, there's more! Things get even more intense when a Pokemon dies. In a traditional Nuzlocke, when a Pokemon dies, all that happens is that you lose the ability to use that Pokemon. But in an RNG lock, the cost is much greater. When a Pokemon dies, I must use a the random number generator to select the Pokemon to send out into battle. That Pokemon is now cursed. So let's say Pokemon A dies and Pokemon B, C, and D are left. I'd use a, ran a random number generator to select 1 through 3 and use that to determine which Pokemon gets sent out and cursed. What does cursed mean? Well, when a Pokemon is cursed, there are several penalties that apply to that Pokemon. First, I cannot switch that Pokemon out of battle, and it must remain at the front of my party. Second, I cannot heal it with any healing items. This includes HP, PP, and status conditions. I also cannot run away from any wild battles. I must defeat all wild Pokemon that I encounter. And finally, the most devastating penalty. Every time I want to attack with that Pokemon, I have to generate a 1 or a 2. If it's a 1, I can choose whichever move I want, but if it's a 2, then my attack is chosen randomly on the random number generator with 1 through how many moves it has, usually 4. So how does a Pokemon become uncursed? The only way to free a Pokemon from a curse is to put the Pokemon who died to rest. To do that, we must hurry to a Pokemon Center and place the dead Pokemon in the PC. Now there will be a bit of silver lining with this rule. A Pokemon that died cursed cannot curse another Pokemon. However, that Pokemon will still be considered dead and will be boxed. This is to prevent a ridiculous chain reaction that could end the whole series within the first few episodes. So of course with these difficult rules, I'll likely be losing a lot of Pokemon. In fact, probably two per death. And going up against a Legendary could very well mean the end. So I will be imposing a rule that if I lose a battle, it's not yet game over. All the Pokemon that died are still considered dead, but I will be allowed to take out a new team, grind it up, and keep going with a new generation of warriors. If I run out of Pokemon, then of course the Nuzlocke will be over and will count as my defeat. So when will the Nuzlocke be posted? Well, I'm shooting for at least one episode every Wednesday. However, this will be the bare minimum. 
I have time, there might be other episodes throughout the week. But for now, I can promise you at least one episode every Wednesday. I will hopefully be able to upload more than one episode per week, but I cannot be certain of my schedule for other things going on in my life. As for the first episode, I cannot be certain of when I'll be able to upload it, because I'll have to get the emulator all set up and stuff. I'm shooting for Wednesday, January 27th, but there's a possibility that it might go up Saturday afterwards. Anyways, I think that's about it for the challenge explanation. So, I'm gonna split, and I hope to see you guys in the Pokemon Black Randomized RNG Lock.